on everybody welcome back to jelly goon tv welcome back to all my beautiful viewers and subscribers of course welcome back to the gorgeous jelly goon squad today we have another video but before we get to that i want to say please do check the social medias down below check facebook instagram everything like that with the handle jelly goon tv today we have a very special video we're going to take a look at a city that is so boring and depressed i guess i don't know what he wants with this video but we're going to react to a day in russian's most depressing town vakuta so we're gonna see how depressed it is. I don't know if something is going on there or whatever, but uh, we definitely gonna see what he's talking about. And maybe it's not that depressed as he thought, because you know, depression is you know if you think a place is depressed, it's up to the person. It depends on what you enjoy about it, of course. But yeah, without further ado, let's get into this. Let's go. Okay, we got some nice rocks. This adventure starts right above the Arctic Circle in one of the most remote parts of Russia. Today we are traveling on one of the very rare trains that come all the way up here to visit a coal mining town that was once rich and prosperous nice. at the times of the Soviet Union, but which is now rapidly dying. As more and more people leave this town every year in search for a better future. I could imagine that. That looks very depressed. Wow. Okay, I guess he's on to something. Guys, I'm a few hours into a train journey which is taking me as north as humanly possible. My destination for Look at the background, man. Holy shit. Town in the Arctic Circle, and you might have heard about it because it's considered to be one of the most depressing towns to live in in Russia. Really? Shrinking population and lots of abandoned Soviet buildings. Nice. Guys, we will soon be arriving in Vorkuta. Vorkuta. <laughs> yeah, that looked like nowhere. <laughs> okay, he's on a train, he does the thing. The tundra landscape. The what? It's permafrost here, so the underground is frozen all year round, and that means no chance for vegetation to grow, ah. apart from maybe small bushes. Wow. And by the way, there are no roads leading to Vorkuta. Really? The only way you can get to Vorkuta is either by rail, as I'm doing, or by plane, if the weather allows. Really? It's a really remote place. Wow, so it's really hard to get to that place. It's very, you know, not remote. You can't drive there. You can walk there. But if you really want to go through the winter, you can do that, of course. But, uh, wow, so he's on a train trip to this place. I wonder how you come up with these things. I'm just wondering, man. So, yeah. All right, let's see where it takes him. Let's go. Almost no one left on my carriage on the train towards Vorkuta. Not many people go into half-abandoned former Gulag towns in the Gulag. Arctic. I wonder why. Mm. Okay. I mean, that looks like my city. 100%. Check out the sights of Vorkuta in the summer. There's an abandoned restaurant. I just jumped on this bus from the railway station to the center of Vorkuta. Wow, and this bus is just so old and so loud. It's old and loud, okay. Oh, wow. This town once had 115,000 people really? living in it. Yeah, that looks good. This town now, Vorkuta, has not even 50,000 inhabitants. That's still a lot. And in this town now, you can buy apartments for as low as one ruble. And why is that? Because living here is absolutely miserable. The Soviets colonized this part of Russia, this part of the world, just because they wanted to take advantage of the coal mines. Ah. But now that the coal industry has fallen into disrepair, why would people live here? I mean, it's freezing during the winter, it gets as low as minus 40, minus 50. During the summer, it's a bit better, but you still can have sub-zero temperatures during the summer. What? And the wind blows like it's crazy. We're so close to the Arctic Ocean, and there are no mountains in between, of course, like in the rest of Russia. Mm. Oh, wow. Wow, check this out. This is Lenin Street. <laughs> and I have to say, this is one of the emptiest Lenin streets I've ever seen in Russia. There's more Lenin I mean, streets? It's pretty big. Really? Well, Sheesh. you just Look don't have that yeah. many people considering the size of this main street of Vorkuta. Wow. Uh, walking around the streets of Vorkuta, it definitely gives you the impression of being a dying town. A town Look at that old building right there, man. It's beautiful. That they could go back to the times of the Soviet Union. And that's why you see many writings. Like, for example, yeah. this one on the top of this building. Over there. Which means, uh, please give even more coal to our motherland. 
You don't need to it now. Our Soviet motherland. Wow. Such silence here. Can you see that? Look at that! Oh my god! The flag of the Soviet Union is being waved here in Vorkuta still oh. to this day. Well, I told you that many of the residents of Vorkuta wish they could go back in time. Oh, the so they wish they go back to a good time of the Soviet yes. Union. So the city must be very, like he said, there was a lot of more people, like 100,000 people. So the city must really prosper, like really doing good under the Soviet Union regime. But when the Soviet Union went down, I think this town and the coal industry, of course, as he said, went another way. And that's really horrible because these people are basically, you know, trying to be rich for this coal mine and all this coal. But uh, apparently we don't need it anymore. And uh, yeah, it's going away 100%. But uh, wow, it's weird to see the Soviet flag flying like that i wonder if any other town has that please comment down below if everybody if you ever seen a soviet flag fly around please let me know down below because it's not like the nazi flag so soviet union is just something that russians are proud of of course but uh yeah all right so depressed so far i must say man it's really like the city really you know could use some uplifting some parties something man it's just wow let's go Oh, the things that you see in Vorkuta. I mean, you see crazy things in Russia usually. You see even crazier things in Vorkuta. Check this out. An abandoned Lada. Wow. Okay. Without the window. And the snow, of course, fell inside. There's the still... Itself. What? All the electronics were taken away. Wow. Just look at this landscape right here. <laughs> I made it, Vorkuta, I made it to Vorkuta, how crazy is that? That is kind of crazy, bro. I don't know how you come up with that idea. Whoa, look at that, they don't even have pet strings. another it's abandoned just... <laughs> residential building right here. And of course, most of these abandoned buildings are made inaccessible due to the weather, because look at this. This is a good meter of snow, of snow and dirt and coal which has deposited onto the really? snow that has been falling in Vorkuta. No. It does cost a lot of money for the local administration to tear these buildings down. So they just let them be. They're yeah. left to stand like this. And wow. they do contribute to the atmosphere, to the general impression that you get of Vorkuta, which is that of a ghost town. Really? And buildings like these are to be found all over the center of Vorkuta. And now I'm even more interested in seeing what I can find on the outskirts. So I'll just wait here for a boss to take me there. Really? She's just waiting on... Oh, wow. Okay. That's some of a bus. I like that. Okay. Oh, wow. In the north of Russia, everything is more expensive because, I mean, you have to import everything. You have to import food. Gas becomes more expensive. And that's why I had to pay 39 rubles for my ticket the outskirts of Vorkuta, which is around double of what you usually pay for a ticket in Russia. So Wait, why is it so expensive in Denmark to take the train Russia, or take the bus? In such a Jesus. Part. Oh man, the roads are horrible. What do you expect? <laughs> what do you expect of this? Spasiba. Check this out. The outskirts of Vorkuta definitely do look like a ghost town. I'm in the village of Sivirne. Sivirne. Five kilometers. Wow, there's banning of buildings everywhere. I just want to explore these buildings, man. And all of this is abandoned. There are just a few people who got off at the same stop as I did. But most of the houses and most of the buildings are just abandoned. Like wow. this one. And I want to explore everybody, man. One, I want to explore everything. The one behind it. Alright guys, I found one of the surviving people in this village. I can't think of the one who is Stepan. Stepan? Stepan. Stepan. Thank you. My name is David. So, he agreed to take me on an excursion around the abandoned buildings of Sieverney. Nice. Can you go inside? Can you go inside? Can you go inside? Nice. Yes. Ну, зимой бывает очень плохо из-за морозов. В этом ага. году было очень холодно ага. из-за того, что было под 50 градусов. 
А сколько людей еще живут здесь? What? I can't even live in those conditions. I just, like, seriously, it doesn't even get that cold in Denmark, but imagine living in minus 50 degrees. That must be very, very horrible. Like, really fucking horrible. I would have a hard time going to job, man. Jesus. Wow. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what to say, guys and girls. I thought they took these cities down and everybody moved to the big towns, but apparently they did not because they really want to preserve this town and they really want to uplift it, of course. And people, you know, they like living some places. They like to, you know, memories and that's where they grow up. Their parents grow up properly and, you know, you just want to stay there just to keep the memories. And I think it's a beautiful thing, but still, the city is dying and... I don't know what's going on. Maybe people, they just work a lot and, you know, trying to keep everything up. I don't know, man. Let's go. People living here. А почему не двигайтесь в Воркуту? В самом городе квартиры очень дорогие. Понял. 1982. What? We found. Oh, wow. Nice. Wow. Go in there, man. Like, this is the creepiest Lenin you could ever find. Jesus. О, oh, there is a car passing by. There's some people. А знаешь, что ты по-английски изучаешь? Ну, чай, чуть-чуть. Ага. Вау. This was the old dom culture, the house of culture that you see in every single This car is stopped and he like looking and like who's the guy with the camera, man? What's going on? Well, it's just that it's abandoned. Look at it. Oh, wow. Это работа, это значит, что посетители могут Да, да. Ходят, занимаются танцами, вокалом. Uh, really? No, this dome of culture was abandoned, but apparently it isn't. I mean, it definitely looks like. No, more than that, it looks like it's abandoned. At least that. Give me that, please. It definitely does look abandoned, but apparently, according to Stepan, mm. it's not. Wow. And you see there the flag of the Komi Republic. The flag nice, Komi Republic. Russia. Okay. It's still in Russia. <laughs> and look at this. Wow. Just behind Lenin, and look at Lenin, how like he's leaning forward somehow. Oh man, the wind is just blowing like crazy. And this is one of the three schools of Sieverny. And just imagine that Stepan was telling me how back a few years ago, Sieverny had three working schools. That's the school? And now, Damn. of those three, only one is still working to this day. Oh Jesus. My Jordans are definitely not going to survive this day in Vorkuta. Hold on one second. Hold on one second. Dear Lord, you did not put Jordans on to go to this place. I no longer respect this guy whatsoever. I have no respect for this guy putting Jordans on in that weather. That is just horrible for the Jordans, man. Why would you even do that? That is horrible. Why wouldn't you put on... You know you're gonna make a YouTube video so you might prepare for what is going on with the weather and everything like that. Stop being a tough guy and trying to look fancy when you're trying to expand and trying to do your, you know, YouTube business. But having Jordans in this weather? Come on, bro. Do better than that. Still check his uh, YouTube channel out. He's actually amazing. Let's go. As we make our way to the abandoned school What? Severne. Nice A сколько лет назад это работало? Очень много, я думаю Во время СССР? Да, да Ага А где, когда ты был маленьким Где ты был в школе в Северной? Да, я здесь учусь здесь До скольких лет? До 15, до 9 класса А после этого люди в Оркуту в университете ну, или, или как? Да, кто-то так делает, mm -hmm. а кто-то продолжает учиться до 11 класса и потом уезжает. А, окей, so they, they want to leave, okay. Или, okay. Если человек хочет в университет, куда? В Сыктывкар? В да. Ухту? Да. да? В Москву даже, может да, быть? Да, могу. Just imagine being a kid in this part of the world, yeah, right? Yeah, exactly, man. What is this for? It's a... Really, bro? Oh, you see some kids with a dog over there? <laughs> With a husky dog. <coughs> nice. So I'm not the only one who's out and about exploring Soviet stuff here in Vorkuta today. The fuck again. Stepan is a nice guy, just man. Keep getting my feet into Dude, the Dude, get some other water. shoes, man. I told you, no, god damn it. Uh, man, stop complaining. I think the temperature is below zero. And I've got wet feet in my Jordans. In below zero yeah, this guy, man. Wow, what a situation. And I've still got a lot that I want to do here in Vorkuta today. Oh, man. <laughs> this is not going well at all. But, yeah, look at this. This is why Stepan was saying and was telling me how people are leaving this place for 
a better future in hope. I can imagine that. I can imagine that. Because the alternative. I just really love the buildings like this. I really do love to. I just want to explore these buildings and see what's going on and what is the interior and what is going on, like, you know, what is inside and everything like that. I really do love buildings like this. And I think it's so freaking cool that they have this. They should do it to an attractive of tourists. They should do more out of it so that, so that people can strive on, on, on the history of the Soviet Union, on what it was actually used for. I think they could do that if they wanted to, of course, but uh, yeah. Wow, amazing, man. I really want to go there and explore too, but not in Jordans, man. Choose something else than Jordans, God. And the present and the past looks exactly <coughs> like Complain this. about your Jordans and you walk around in snow and mud. Back the asphalt, and there's a this guy. shop over there. A tam работает магазин. Да, работает. А обуви не продаются? Нет. Нет, к сожалению. I'll definitely buy some new pair of shoes now. Oh wow, okay. They got a little thing for the kids. Просто не понимаю, как жить. У вас зима. Ну, может, вы не, вы не считаете, что это зиму. Но для меня это зима. И просто не понимаю, как у вас жить, когда зима длится 10 месяцев, 11 месяцев. Лето, ле... какие температуры? Сколько градусов до 30 у вас? Доходит, бывает. До 30 доходит. До 30? Да, до 30 бывает. Летом? Да. Но обычно в среднем? В среднем 20 градусов. Mm -hmm. Хорошо, в августе. В июле, в августе, да. А. Это неплохо тогда. Но зимой, да. Зимой, да. Минус 50, да. минус 4. Uh, И что делать? I could not live like that, man. Come on. Ну, когда вот такая вот температура бывает, закрывают дорогу. Все oh, really? Нельзя попасть в город, закрывают дорогу. Да? Чтобы не было аварийных... Ага, uh -huh. uh -huh. понял, понял. Проблема ветер и снега. Зимой, да, да. Uh -huh. В такие вот погодные условия люди на учебу не едут. Самая минимальная температура... I love Stepan here uh, right now, man. He's really, you know, telling everything that goes on. It's beautiful. It's a good thing that I came in summer. Детская поликлиника. Okay. Oh wow. А может что зимой снега здесь внутри, да? Может, да? Wow. Oh, it's the stairs. Oh, they так they так быстро. Yeah, he's used to it. He's definitely used to it, brother. He definitely smoked some weed up in his buildings, man. I'm not even kidding, man. This guy is usual. He knows what to do with this. Oh man, that's scary. I'm gonna fall through the floor, trust me on that one. This, this maybe was the waiting room of the pediatric hospital. Man! So many chairs. Well, Stepan is really keen on going to the balcony. Wow. wow, check the view. Nice. There's one abandoned building, there's another abandoned building. There are some crucial... Actually, I want to know if some of my subscribers or anything like that lived in this city or know anybody from this city. Please tell the stories down below. I would love to hear them. It would be amazing, man. Do you know anything about this city? Please let me know. What was it used for? What was going on? Please let me know, man, because I really want to know. It's a... I think it's a beautiful city with all the houses and all stuff, but yeah, let's go. Because which are not abandoned. abandoned houses, sorry. For example, this one to the left as well. Wow. А где ты живешь? Я живу в той стороне. Wow. Ooh, nice. А почему это сломало? Люди это сделали или просто погода? Люди. Люди, да? Я не выгадал. Которым деньги нужны только. Которые постоянно пьяные. Да. Вот. Они берут, воруют. And this is what you're left with. A broken window, yeah, of course, brother. Yes. Oh. Wow, you see that? That lady just stole a chair from the hospital. Really? She just went inside and she just took it. <laughs> That's amazing, man. That's how you do it, goddammit. Recycling. A <laughs> bar, restaurant. Yes. Cafe is oh, yes. one cafe. Uh -huh. We'll go and try out the only cafe in the whole of Sieverne. Nice. This uh, guy guys, just randomly met. Check out wow. the only 
Stepan is very nice. You can find in the village. This is Russia for you, man. This is I guarantee you this is when you visit Russia, this is what happens when people they show you around and respect and everything. I guarantee. Okay. Tuda? Oh Krasiva. Strasvice. Alright guys, I ordered myself some pizza for me and Stepan, some chai, here in the most remote cafe I've ever been at in my life, so let's try it out. Feels like back at home. At Vlicenia. У нас есть театр, у нас есть кино, парк есть в городе. Дома видеоигры, компьютер, что? PlayStation. Yeah, of course. Internet. Да, да. Это все есть, это достаточно. Какие игры? They still humans, man. Да, хорошо. Можно посещать? Let's go back to the bright lights of Severny. This way, possibly. Wow. Wow. Nice. This is cinema. No, it's not a cinema. Sorry, a cemetery. He's going with other guys. Okay, I get it. Anyway, man, let me pause here. That was a beautiful video, man, I have to say. It's really funny to see these cities, they really got left behind in the history and people are still living there, trying to strive there, trying to get a, you know, economy up and running, trying to get coal or something like that. I don't know what they're trying to do. I think they're just trying to survive and try to do the best they can. I wonder what the jobs are in these places. I really wonder how much their budget is and how much their economy is and everything like that. Because it's, it's a big city, but there are small, you know, living people in there. So it's like... What are they even living by, right? So yeah, I really think this video is very beautiful and I really do love it so much. It's it's really nice. So yeah, anyway, guys and girls, if you like this video, please hit the like button down below. Also, please do uh, subscribe, hit the notification button. We're trying to get to 20,000 subscribers. We at 15,000 right now, so be massively appreciated if you would support, of course. Um, also, please do comment down below what you think about this uh, video right here. Have you ever visited the city? Do you know anybody from this city? Do you ever have plans of visiting me? I really want to know. So yeah. Anyway, guys and girls, I love you so much. And I'm going to see you into the next one. Peace.